Hello my data science friends, hope you are having a wonderful day. I am Divyan Chakrawal and you are watching Knowledge Overflow. Today we will be talking about another interesting data science course that is coming your way from Ireland. So in this video we will be talking about the eligibility criteria, course curriculum, how to apply, scholarships, fees, everything. So stay tuned to the last of this video to know everything about this awesome course. And if you like the video, uh, we have a lot of other data science courses reviewed on our channel. You can go have a look at it. And if you like the channel, please share this channel with your friends who are looking out for data science and computer science courses around the world. So this course goes by the name of MSc in Computer Science with Artificial Intelligence and is hosted by National University of Ireland, situated in Galway, Ireland. So before going into the course, let's just have a look at the university profile. They've got a world rank of 258, status is public, research output is again high, and student to faculty ratio is really nice, 8 is to 1. Above 3000 international students, so you are surely going to get a cosmopolitan environment. So this is one such university you can target if you are looking for an international collaboration. Also, if you talk about the subject rankings, they've got a subject ranking in the rank band of 250 to 300 for computer science and information systems. Also graduate employability ranking is fair given in the rank band of 300 to 500. So you should definitely target this university and it is much cheaper than the other UK universities you must be looking out for. So you should definitely have this university at your bucket list. So this is the page for this particular course and here you can see the course overview as in the normal case you would see all about artificial intelligence and how it is changing the world and all these things. Also um, here you can see there is a scholarship as well so we'll be talking about scholarships in a while. Also the applications so you need to make an application to their application system online application system and uh, that application should include a personal statement which summarizes your primary degree and the relevance for a successful completion of this program how that previous degree is relevant in completing this particular program and uh, by my suggestion uh, you should definitely mark this line somewhere while writing your SOP they say we strongly encourage an evidence-based approach to highlight your academic accomplishments so this is one such line while writing your SOP keep in mind this line and uh, whatever you write there you provide an evidence for each of the things that you have done or are doing also you need to provide a summary of your previous capstone projects which is really important for any sop irrespective of any university so even if any university doesn't ask you to provide summary of your previous projects it is bound to be there in an sop so if you are writing if you are trying to write a compelling sov you need to explain a little bit of summary about your previous project what you have done and how they are relevant to the course that you are trying to pursue here Apart from that, you need your CV, your university degree transcripts, two references, whether academic or professional. Also, you need to have an IELTS or TOEFL score if English is not your first language or mother tongue. So these are the requirements for the application. Also, there are some things that they don't require. So please don't send them. The secondary school certificate, so 10th and 12th marks are not at all required and relevant for this university's this particular course. Training certificates are not required and membership certificates like if you have a membership of IEEE or ACI, they don't require that as well. Also, if you talk about the key facts of this course, what you require is a first class honors degree from a recognized university. Even if you have a second class honors, you should apply if you have something to compensate for that low grade. And if it is, uh, it will be done on the recommendation of the program director. So your application uh, say goes to product program director. Also, the English language proficiency. Uh, as I told, uh, you need an IELTS or TOEFL score. For IELTS, they need a minimum of 6.5 with 6.5 in writing, no less than 6 in other categories. Also, the duration is one year full-time MSc degree. Next intake is September 2022. Average intake is 40. ECTS waiting is 90 credits. Uh, essentially, one year course in ECTS would correspond to 60 credits. But here, according to the ECTS, you are completing 90 credits. So there is going to be a certain burden on you. To complete that course, you will be completing almost one and a half year of course content in single years. As far as closing dates are concerned, the university is in UK and they have this application system in terms of rounds. So they have, they have multiple rounds from round one to five or six, depending on the university. In this case as well, in this university as well, they have similar round system and the application starts from October and uh, then they move on till 
may may end based on the round so first round say for goes for like a month from october to november and then the result for that is given by december and the next round starts in december till january and the next round starts from february something like that this happens in most of the uk universities same is the case here as well but right now for this particular course the applications aren't open for the next round but there are chances that they open another round once again maybe around march end or april start so be ready with all your application documents and maybe if they open you could have a chance of applying to this university so make sure to be aware of the deadlines i'll also post if they open up any applications uh, in the community post as well if we talk about the course outline the msc in computer science ai is a one year 90 ects course there are three main elements so foundational modules uh, consisting of 35 uh, european credits advanced modules consisting of 25 european credits and a substantial capstone project consisting of 30 credits um, to be done in the last semester so these are the things that are required foundational modules are i suppose core and you will have to study machine learning and deep learning nlp information retrieval meta heuristic optimization ethics in ai autonomous agents and multi agent systems advanced modules include programming and tools for ai knowledge representation and statistical relational learning data visualization programming for data analytics web and network science embedded image processing tools and techniques for large scale data analytics research topics in ai so these are the things in the advanced modules and of course from semester 2 onwards we'll be working on a substantial capstone project as well and uh, before going even further i would like to say that this particular course is a taught masters program it is not a research based program so people who are looking out for masters taught masters based on project this is the course for you guys you should definitely target it and uh, you will not need to find any supervisor for that you will not be required to write a thesis all you have to do is to do a capstone project at the end of this particular course also you can see here about each of the courses i'll not go into the details of that you can just expand this and you will get to know about that particular course so i have opened this artificial intelligence and ethics here you can see there are five credits for that there is a little bit of description what are the learning outcomes out of it assessment is there there is a module director lecturer tutors there is a reading list of books that you can study for this particular course all of these things for all of the courses there so you can have a look at it and there are some optional courses as well which you can take as as part of your curriculum so these are the courses you can have a look if we talk about the fees so uk universities are known to provide the fees information right in front of you so like that also you can see the total fees is 24140 euros and if we convert this number into indian rupees it would correspond to 2163000 as of the current rate so this is one such pocket friendly course uh, much more cheaper than all the other uk universities so you should definitely target this course and now you have made up your mind to apply to, to this wonderful course what you have to do is follow how to apply so for post graduates you will need to apply online of course you know about the course and the entry requirements of course as i have already told previously in this video Uh, you will need to pay an application fee of 35 euros if we convert it into indian rupees that would correspond to 300 inr as of the current rate and as far as this particular course is concerned you don't need to go into the details of this particular thing research application this is not about research this is a taught masters program so let's scroll a little bit here and here we see the international applicants and here you can see the international post graduate students so you will need to provide an english language proficiency test of course if you don't belong to a, a english speaking country and you need to make your application through the online application system uh, given here right now the applications aren't open so of course you won't be able to do so but once they open you can go and apply for this i'll pass this online application link into the video description now we have discussed about everything else you must be wondering where is the scholarship if there is any scholarship or not so yes now we move on to the scholarships so there are scholarships as well this is a scholarships page so here you can see the post graduate scholarships this taught post graduate scholarship is for ee students so you don't need to go into that there are some scholarships for international students written here but there is an separate page for the international scholarships you can have a look at it i'll just pass this link 
also you, here you can see uh, the government of ireland scholarship so this scholarship is provided to exceptional students by the government of ireland to the students from non eu or eea region so if you are belonging to any of those countries apart from the eu region uh, you can definitely target this scholarship government of ireland scholarships and uh, this is uh, sponsored for a complete period of one year so the one year is the course as well so you will be funded for that one year complete and there is another education.com taught masters in europe scholarship so this scholarship is valued at 5000 euros to cover tuition fees so if you are looking out for scholarship uh, this is a scholarship that you can definitely look out for this is the information here you can find more information here i'll pass this link this is one very good scholarship that you should definitely target so these two scholarships were more specifically i wanted to target and let you know guys about this but apart from this there are a hell lot of scholarships for international students to study here and you can see this page dedicated to especially to international scholarships you can have a look at it uh, hardeman scholarship business postgraduate scholarship irish fulbright government of ireland george mitchell scholarship european union there are a hell lot of scholarships you can see just here from people from africa people from china there are a lot of scholarships here so you can have a look i'll not go into the details of this scholarships otherwise the video will get long and this was almost all about this particular course and i hope you like this particular course you're gonna apply for this particular university and uh, this particular course is gonna give you definite returns for sure and uh, please apply for this course and if you are applying do let us know in the comments and also do let us know if you got selected we'll be happy to know and uh, we, we will be open for a collaboration when you get to the university and if you do like the video please subscribe to the channel and discover some more content that is already there i'll continue to post uh, reviews of data science courses and computer science courses as of now for a while and uh, please share this channel with your friends who are looking out for data science and computer science courses around the world this is surely gonna help them out a lot so with that i'll be coming up with another data science or computer science course in the next video until then au revoir